Hello there guys, my name is Coach the Shadow Donks the Born, but built for Theme Park News and welcome to a predictions video where today we're finally here. It is the final predictions for 2021 at the Six Flags, Cedar Fair and Millen Entertainment Park. So you know what this is going to be. I think this year is probably the easiest year to predict out of any other year I could have done this. Because the virus has delayed many, many attractions till next year. Uh, so we're going to go through all of them. Uh, as well as new attractions that I think could still be happening from scratch in 2021. Uh, same with Cedar Fair. Millen Entertainment, we pretty much know what's going to happen with their attractions. So that video will be just analyzing all the attractions of 2021 so um that's going to be a very easy video to do as well as cedar fair but this video is all about six flags and there's a few attractions that still could be happening in terms of from scratch for 2021 like new new attractions not delayed attractions but before we get started, here is how you guys can interact with the channel. If you've loved this video, make sure you hit the like button below. Make sure you also comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the video topic. And also make sure you subscribe to Coast Chal YouTube channel for more. And click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share the channel with your friends, your family and our social media. And make sure you also comment down below your video suggestions which will be saved. Your shout outs which will be saved for the next day's videos. And also make sure you send in your merchandise continuously on Instagram and Snapchat. The links for both are in the description down below and I'll save your merchandise pictures with your name and location for the next merchandise showcase video. Also make sure you get your questions in the comments down below. Use the hashtag question before or after your question and they will be saved for our 2000 subscriber Q&A. Also guys make sure you reach that subscriber goal of 10,000 subs in the next 365 days and counting. If we do that, I will release Coaster Channel merchandise on a new website as well as other projects I've got planned for the long term future. Let's get into another thrilling video. So kicking us off in our final predictions video for 2021 for Six Flags Parks, we go to Darien Lake. Now my prediction in the mid-season prediction video was a Beaver Brothers Bay and Rowdy's Ridge area re-theme to DC Super Friends or a Zamperla Giant Discovery. Now thinking about it, I think there's only one route they can go and that is of course the delayed Wahoo Wave from 2020. Of course that is a water slide uh, with a wall feature from what we saw in the teaser trailer from last year. Um, and I think that's going to be that. That's definitely going to be like delayed for 2021. Uh, there's a, quite a lot of projects that's been delayed, um, but I think this is one of them. Uh, there's no real construction that's happened with Wahoo Wave or hardly any construction, so I think that this is going to be pretty much a 2021 project. Uh, whether the theme park adds like a family ride or something as well, that's very plain to see. But I think definitely we are going to get a Wahoo Wave, but it depends if they add something new as well to coincide with that investment but i think it'll just be wahoo wave uh for next year uh which is fair enough moving in then to frontier city and i predict to the zamperla disco coaster or a giant slash giga discovery now since they didn't add anything in 2020 we could see something in 2021 and i think what we could see is some kind of family or thrill ride i think we could look on the lines of a disco coaster, you look at the Spin Sanity that went in at St. Louis a few years ago. Uh, not the one with the Camelback Hill, but the one with just the curve. Uh, that would be a pretty neat investment for family thrill seekers. Um, but also a Zampilla Endeavour would be a great fit as well. And you can theme it up really nicely to the, uh, to the Wild West and things like that. Moving in then to the Great Escape. Now I predict the Tsunami Surge Water Coaster. I think we're looking at a delayed Adirondack Outlaw. That is the skyscraper attraction. It's like those fun fair rides, but they've made it look all permanent and that. Um, obviously, this had a bit of a rich history with location issues and planning issues, uh, but it seems like that's going to be going ahead, but that'll be going ahead for 2021 as there's been hardly any construction already on the project. Moving in then to La Ronde, and I predicted one of those skyscraper attractions for them. However, we are going to be getting, in my opinion, the delayed Vipair, which of course, Green Lantern First Flight, relocated from Six Flags Magic Mountain in Valencia, California. That will be opening in 2021, hardly any constructions happen with that, so I think that we are going to see that come alive in 2021. Uh, moving in then to Six Flags America, and I predict the Zampella Endeavor or a Tsunami Surge slash Python's Plunge type water coaster. My prediction for 2021 is something happening with Whistle Stop Park. Now, I really can't decide between the two routes, so I'm going to go with either route as a prediction. So, one route is the removal of Whistle Stop Park to make way for a brand new roller coaster. 
uh, either a Max Force type launch coaster or maybe a Raptor. But since we haven't really seen any construction work for coasters at the minute, I think one other route I could go down as a safer bet would be a retheme of Whistle Stop Park to include it in the Gotham area surrounding it or next to it and re-theme it into DC Super Friends and expand it around the bat with a couple of new family rides. Uh, so Whistle Stop Park could become DC Super Friends for Six Flags America, which would be a great investment for the families, but I think it would be a lost potential on a coaster spot. So maybe they go with either route. We'll see what happens, but I think something's happening with Whistle Stop Park next year. Moving in then to Discovery Kingdom, and I predict that Sidewinder Safari would get delayed, and that is what I'm sticking with. Sidewinder Safari reopening in 2021, uh, and that will be the delayed attraction from uh, this year. Moving in then to Fiesta Texas, and I predict the Zampella Endeavor. I'm going to go back on my very first prediction uh, for 2021, and I'm going to go with a water park edition. Now, a water park edition could come in any kind of size, shape, or form. It could be a water slide, it could be a family water play area, it could literally be anything. So, one of those would be the right solution. Moving in then to Six Flags Great Adventure, and I predicted either a Zamperla Super Air Race flat ride or a retheming Bugs Bunny National Park into Bugs Bunny Boontown. Now, my prediction then for next year will be opening Jersey Devil Coaster. Now, we know that's been delayed till 2021, so we know that's going to be happening. And I think that the kids area will be delayed until 2022. I think all the plans that they've got... Uh, now I think we'll be delayed by a year with Jersey Devil being pushed back to next year so we are looking here at Jersey Devil opening in 2021 whether that means something else as well I mean probably not so I think that we'll get a kids area great adventure in 2022 and I think Jersey Devil will be the focus for next year moving in then to Great America and I predict to Zampilla Endeavor or a camp cartoon or you and or Yukon territory themed to DC Super Friends in 2021, I think we could see one, possibly two things. I think we're going to be seeing, uh, well, we're definitely going to be seeing the delay of Tsunami Surge, water coaster in the water park. That is definitely going to be happening for 2021. But also, I think we could potentially see uh, this re-theme of a kids area. I think they could do that, and I think Camp Cartoon could be the most likely place to do it. Uh, so the, we could see a new kids area for the theme park as well. But I think the main thing for next year will be the relaunch of Tsunami Surge that could have opened this year in the water park. So whether that means a water park and a theme park edition in one year, who knows. Uh, I definitely think 2021 is going to be a very much a bulked up year. Moving into Magic Mountain and this one's a very, very easy prediction for me. I predicted an RMC single rail coaster with a Jersey Devil type layout and I'm sticking with that prediction. And my final prediction is going to be an RMC single rail coaster replacing Tidal Wave and Green Lantern First Flight sites. And it will be named either the Joker, the Joker Laugh Track, the Joker Chaos Coaster or Man Martian Manhunter. Astro Coaster or Martian Manhunter Coaster. Either one of those five options and I'll keep each one of them noted just in case it does get selected by Six Flags. Moving in then to Me Six Flags Mexico and I predicted Zampella Endeavor and you know what with Crazy Entity 50-50 opening in 2020 or 2021 I think I'm going to stick with my prediction. I think that Crazy Entity will open in 2020 and I think for 2021 they're going to go with the Zampella Endeavour. Now what that be themed to, I do not know. And where it will be located, I do not know. However, a Zampella Endeavour is a great attraction for Six Flags Mexico. Moving into Six Flags New England and I predict the Tsunami Surge or a Skyscraper attraction. However, we are getting the delayed Supergirl Skyflyer, the Zampella Endeavour for Six Flags New England. Uh, which is delayed from this year, 2020. And that will open in 2021 instead. Six Flags over Georgia, and in 2021, I predicted a Wahoo Wave or a Typhoon Twister water slide. And you know what? With a 50 50 chance of the two new rides opening over Georgia for 2020, I think we're going to see a Tsunami Surge water coaster. It could be Tsunami Surge, or I did see a video, I think his channel's called JB Thrills, who did like an unofficial Six Flags announcement for 2021, which is a cool video. I checked that out. Um, I would recommend you checking it out as well for some quality content. Uh, he called it Storm Surge, so that would be a good name as well. I think either Storm Surge or Typhoon Twister or Tsunami Surge would be a lovely name for uh, the water coaster. And I think they'll go with that. I think they'll go with the water park edition. And of course, 
that would mean it's the first water park edition since, you know, the, the water park first opened back in 2014. Moving in then to Over Texas, and I predicted 60th anniversary celebrations and festivals, and I'm going to go with that prediction. I'm going to go with that, but also the delayed Aquaman Power Wave. Now, Aquaman Power Wave is a Mac Power Splash on the Aquaman Splashdown site, uh, originally for 2020. That will be opening in 2021, in my opinion. Uh, I think it's very, very clear that we're going to get that, and I think that we're going to see the opening of... Uh, Aquaman Power Wave in 2021. Finally then, Six Flags St. Louis, and we're going to see an RMC Raptor course still located on the former Tunnel Wave site. As well as that, the delayed Catwoman's Whip will open in 2021 as well, in my opinion. Uh, and the RMC Raptor that I'm predicting for the part next year as well will be re will be themed around either the Flash, or maybe they go along uh, a different theme. Maybe they go on the Flash, or maybe they go with a Martian Manhunter theme, or something like that, which would be very interesting indeed. So I think it's something to keep eyes out. But there's a potential that they could be opening just Catwoman's Whip next year and then delay the Raptor for 2022. Who knows? So that, my friends, is my Six Flags predictions for 2021, my final one. So these kind of prediction videos won't be coming back now until 2022, uh, 2021 when we predict for 2022. That will be a little bit easy, well, a little bit harder, should we say, because of the fact the virus will probably be a, a, a dead end by then, hopefully, and uh, it'll be much easier to predict better stuff and not um, delayed attractions. So I think it's going to be better in 2022 predictions, but I think for this year, I think it's safe to say we're going to get a lot of delayed attractions, but also some new ones as well. So hopefully Six Flags release, releases a video explaining it all and we get a note on what attractions are coming for 2021. But for now, guys, thank you very, very much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shout, Kill on the Coast of Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a nice day.